I want to get your thoughts on um, Canelo. So, so Canelo Alvarez is rumored, and this isn't confirmed, but this did come from Dan Raphael. I'm assuming that he has a source that his next two opponents will be Jamal Charlo and uh, Terrence Crawford. And um, I don't personally, and this is just my personal feelings about this. You know, I don't, I don't like it just because I think David Benavidez has been waiting for his opportunity to get that fight. And I think that's the biggest fight at 168 pounds. Um, like Maul, I didn't think Maul looked great in his last fight. He was also coming off of a long layoff and couldn't get Benavidez, the young or the big, uh, big little brother, if you will, out of there. Um, right. So that's concerning for him. And then Terrence Crawford, I think Terrence Crawford is great fighter, number one pound for pound fighter in the sport. Um, and I think he would be more competitive than what we I saw from Mel. Go ahead. I don't think. I don't think the sport is getting hyped up, man, and it's getting real inflated. I think you can definitely put Terrence Crawford in the pound for pound. I don't think he's number one pound for pound. I'll put Canelo over Terrence Crawford. Okay. I don't see Terrence Crawford beating Canelo Alvarez. Um. I, I think that he can – he'll be able to box good enough, you know, but I think Canelo going to cut the ring off on his ass. Yeah. I think Canelo going to cut the ring off on his ass. Um, I think he's going to be too big, too strong. Canelo ain't is – he's not an Earl Spence. Well, yeah, let's, 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 let's pause right there because I, I – I, I, uh, let's no, let's pause uh, right there real quick because uh, you said something interesting there. I've had so many people in the comment section try to compare Canelo to Arrow, basically saying that they're both flat footed or both going to walk forward. I don't see that whatsoever. Can you explain the difference between the two? No. Nah. Well, it's crazy because honestly, I feel like we're talking about three different individuals. Let's talk about okay. two completely different Earl Spences. Okay. The Earl Spence, before he fought Terrence Crawford, was he was a better specimen. Before he went, I want to say after the accident, I know he had a fight or so after that. He had a fight after that. But yep. going into the fight with Terrence Crawford, oh, I would say it was a week into the they had a week leaving, about a week up to the fight, and he was hitting the mitts in the ring. And I'm watching it on my phone. He's hitting the mitts, and his coach went to like hit his arms to, for him to block. And when he did it, it like knocked them halfway across the ring. Like his balance or equilibrium or something was just off. Right. And I'm like, oh shit. If he fights like that, he's going to lose. Something's wrong. Yeah, something's wrong. Now it's coming out that something neurologically was wrong with him. But I said this shit before that fight happened. When I seen it a week or so before the fight, I seen that shit. Um, but I believe the difference between the Canelo one Canelo is much more seasoned than Earl Spence. I yep. believe Canelo is much more seasoned than Earl Spence. He's been in there with a lot of other guys. He's done put more rounds in. You know, um, experience is the best teacher. You know, experience is the best teacher. You know, Canelo's been in there for a long time. He's been in against so many different styles of fighting, you know, to be able to make the adjustment and stuff. Like, can at times become flat-footed when he fights. He does have problems. Now, I would admit to this. This is where, where it's somewhat of a conflict of interest. He does have problems with people with lateral movement, you know, uh, people with good foot movement. You know, that when Caleb planted for him, I told people, if Caleb is in 15-round shape, he'll be able to beat, uh, he'll be able to beat um, Canelo. But after, if he's not, after about seven or eight, Canelo going to walk his ass down like Jason or Michael Myers. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Canelo is not the traditional flat-footed fighter. You know, Canelo got swag. Canelo got swag, you know what I'm saying? Now, this is, this is to take nothing against 
the Hispanics, you know, because shit, y'all are cousins, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Canelo got swag. He got a little different type of rhythm. He got a little different type of bounce with him, you know. Uh, and Canelo got swag. He's not flat footed. Earl, on the other hand, he's more of a flat footed fighter. He's more of a, I'm going to walk you down slow. Canelo can get on his feet. He can move. He got he got creativity. He got swag in it. So it's a difference between Earl and and um, and Canelo's a bigger puncher than Earl Spence. Yeah, yeah, I can I think see he's that. A bigger puncher than Earl too. Okay. What so, about uh? What about yeah, your run, man? Would you? Puncher. What, would I you like to see? That. And I also play, uh boots. Yeah. Would you like to see him in there with boots? A lot of people have been calling for that. that'd be a good one i think it'd be a good one uh just from a a business standpoint i still i still think canelo would get him i still think canelo would get him i think no 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 i'm talking about i'm talking about Ennis versus still, crawford he's oh oh Crawford, mm, that'd be a good one too. Yeah, that'd be a good one too. To be honest with you, if I'm not a fan of picking, I'm not a fan of of cherry picking or picking and choosing who you gonna fight. You know, and, and shit like that. I'm not a fan of that. You know, yeah. I feel as though the best should compete against the best. You know, but I do understand the concept. Of, I do understand the concept of business. I don't, I, I don't think it would be a good business move on Crawford's behalf yeah. to fight Ennis. I don't think it would be a good business move because it would be really, really risky. It's highly likely that he'll lose that fucking fight. Mm. It's highly you think Crawford? That, you think Crawford versus, lose that fight against Boots? It's highly likely. It's it's, a, it's it's very possible. It's a pot. It's possible. Boots is definitely a bigger specimen. He's younger. He's full of energy. He's going. He's 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 longer. He's taller. He got a better reach. You ain't gonna be able to run it. In order for Terrence to even be able to hit him. He's gonna have to get in range of him hitting him. <laughs> you know, he's gonna yeah. have to get in range of of Ennis. You know, um. So, I believe that Terrence is definitely have more experience. He's more experienced than Ennis. You know, but I think he just Ennis have more brute strength. He's youthful. You know, um, and he can fight. You know, he can fight. He's a young fighter that in 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 a couple years. He, the champions that's at the division, he should be knocking right at their motherfucking door. Yeah. He can be yeah. right at their motherfucking door. I you know? feel you on so that. So I think I'm not a, I'm not gonna say I'm not a fan of, yeah, I'm not a fan of cherry picking. You know, um, I think if it'll be a more smart business move for Terrence to say, I ain't gonna fight him. I'll, I'll rather try my hand with. Canelo, where though he'll one make more money with Canelo, I still think he'll lose to Canelo, but he'll yep. ultimately make more money. At the end of the day, we prize fighters. We in this shit to, we in this shit to get paid. Facts. You know he'll make more money with Canelo than he will fighting Books. You know, yep. and it's I, I, if I was if I was a turn, he it would be better on him to fight fight Canelo than Books. That's just my thoughts on it.